us live from the Lock Warren Studios in sunny San Diego, California. On the air, it's on the air. And look at the Sully Band. Looks a little different today, maybe. Uh, maybe you notice. A little bit. Good to see you guys. Watch this. Watch my power. I like that. You know what that is? Let me tell you what that is. By the way, nice job, folks. Good to see you. The Sully Band. Look at that. You know what that's called? You guys have been playing around a lot. We are everywhere. I mean, it's, 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 been, it's been really great, and we appreciate all of the... Uh, all of the support. You know what that is, that power is? What? That means you don't get perspective unless, unless you sign the front of a paycheck. When you sign the front of a paycheck, you just go, e and it stops just like that. Wow. Doesn't it, Trace? Yep. Right? That's exactly that's right. Uh, we have Arnie Vilches, who normally plays guitar here, uh, is now uh, in James's place. James is, uh, is playing some concert somewhere. Some, Tulsa. He, uh, he's in Tulsa. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, there's a reason that you are all dressed as you are. I'm not sure. Can he see? Uh, though, yeah, there's no, uh, I was looking over in the green room. I want to make sure that our, our guest host couldn't see no. uh, what's going on. But uh, but we should bring them out. So. Well, I, but one thing we should do, I think, is we have a show at the Belly Up. Um, Thursday. Uh, this coming Thursday. Um, we're headlining up there at Belly Up Tavern. Um, and I think maybe, I don't know, maybe? Are we thinking maybe? <laughs> maybe? Little Chris and the Nightcrawlers show up instead of Sully? I'm thinking maybe we, you know. At least Trace. Come on. Or Nacho will wear it. Nacho will wear it anyway. Right. You're like, Nacho shows up and stuff like that anyway. Well, uh, it's, it's going to make sense in a few seconds. Okay. All right. Bring it on. Then tell us what we got going on. All right. Our very first guest, ladies and gentlemen, from Star 94.1, Jesse Lozano. Here we go. Do you know how long is, we've been planning this? That is the best thing ever. Yeah. Nice that job. So well, well, well done. Nicely done. This is like my squad right here. I want to jump up on this. I wish I could sing. We went and purchased. <laughs> after you got out, we looked in the, we looked inside of your jacket and found out where to find those things. Yes. And we purchased, and we got everybody size, and we purchased all of their uh, uh, their. Uh, their are, are you happy their to know? Sizzle I, my dizzle. The sizzle my dizzle. Okay, are you guys happy to know I have four more different suits, shorts awesome. to match? I've got a purple, I've got a neon pink with the pine, uh, the, the uh, palm trees on it. Oh, yeah. When did you start doing Didn't you start doing that when you had to interview somebody really famous? Yeah, well, I started. First no, of all, you can have a seat. Oh, yeah, thank, sit down. Thank you very much. Says our guest host. Yes, um, uh, when I, I worked in LA a, a lot with Kiss FM, we did a lot of uh, backstage interviews with folks. And to be honest, I worked with a guy named JoJo who always found a way to land on the radar with these celebrities. And yep. he would give them a, a hand, uh, a signed picture of himself and give it to the celebrity. And I thought, that is so weird and self serving. But I eventually realized he was just trying to make a mark and get on the radar. And one year I wore some crazy suit and I realized I'm landing on the radar. The, the celebrities were asking me about what I was wearing. And so from there, it just got crazier and crazier. Well, that's good. And do this we, is did, what I do now. Did anybody wear the shorts? I, I know the girls got the skirts on. Oh, look at Gary. Yeah. Gary Santo <laughs> Pietro. Oh, we gotta love that. Come on. That's freaking great. Fantastic. Actually, they look pretty good on you, too. So humble. You can wear it. One of the best days. You can wear those. Uh, isn't it fantastic? <laughs> and we, we're going to need a picture of you up there. With of everybody. course. On, before the show ends. It, it did take a lot of planning. I kept on telling Jesse, you got to wear that same thing you did last you know, Yeah, and I thought, month. golly, you want me to wear the same exact Well, because we, we didn't know of the other ones yet. Because... Just you know, wait. And it was some way, yeah. So I this think is how I get you to invite this me could, back. This could be a theme here. This is a tease. Think? This is a theme. Next and, time, what will I wear? We'll see. And you've been doing a lot of stuff. You had a golf tournament. Oh, my gosh. We raised over $30,000 for high school athletics. Oh, my here gosh. Are you Diego. kidding me? Come on. With our one more win charity golf tournament. Can I get a blam for that, you guys? Just Hit a blam. Bam! Come on. Tons of great sponsors. Of course, um, we had a great day at Rancho Bernardo Wind playing golf. We had a professional, a female professional golfer on the course out driving every single yeah, that's guy gonna make you feel as great. one of our fundraisers. Exactly. That's what I figured. I figured play off the competitiveness of a bunch of dudes yeah. by having them be out hit by a really good female. Yeah, so exactly. So, you know, do you golf at those events or you just, or do you, or you don't have time to golf? Do exactly. You? I can golf, but I like to load up a big giant speaker on the golf cart. I throw a big giant cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a cooler on the back. <laughs> You're with me. And I drive around and I entertain. That's awesome. That's the vibe. That's and great. your lovely wife, Natalie's here. For the first time, she doesn't believe that I do TV, you know, and so sometimes I have to bring Where her. Where is she? Can we put a camera on her? Come on, Natalie. Oh, here sorry, Natalie. Natalie. She may not like that. 
Come on, there she is. She's very shy. I, I, we played at one of your events one time. Oh, that's right. And she that's was right. very much in the background, although I know that she was in charge of everything there. So, fantastic. So, great to have you along today. Once again, Jesse Lozano uh, you, from 94.1, Jesse and Tati in the morning. How's the show going? Show's going great. Fantastic. Yeah, we don't take a lot of summer vacations, so we're getting everybody that's a uh, captive oh, audience right? right now sitting yeah. at home listening to their smart I hear you on the radio talking about the band and talking about all like, You're always like... You I was just... playing higher and higher this morning as a little clip as I was talking about your upcoming event. See, these spots. guys are always so good. See, we didn't invite these people. That's what we. That's why, right? <laughs> that's why we invite them. And when family. You, when you mentioned Jesse and Tati, you got to mention their great producer, Shelly Brown. Producer Shelly Brown. Yeah, for sure. Yep. She's single. What did Shelly? What ha, was that? Is that new? That's so new. And oh, let me tell you. Was she not single? She was not for oh, a so while. Oh, so you're announcing? I'm announcing it only because um, she's like the coolest girl. Can we get her on, on Zoom Earth. today? I think we can, should. Can we get her on Zoom today? Maybe. I know she's not expecting it, but maybe we maybe we at one of the segments just call her in and maybe we can you know. I'm it's sure got a big can. audience here. I mean, look at, you know, me and Tommy can't walk the streets anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's because of a legal Literally. thing that has nothing to do with the show. But, uh, yeah, why don't, we, why don't we put the, I'm sure she'd appreciate the call. Or bring yeah. her in next week. Or either, or both. Yeah. Either one. But if you bring her next week, you got to bring a couple of eligible bachelors in, right? All oh, right. Let's, let's make something happen here on the air. Yeah, right? Dating game? Are we kidding? You know what? We should have. An on-the-air dating game, be the and you be the you be Don. Pa Who was the guy's Jim name? Jim Lang. Uh, Jim yeah. Lang. Yes, yeah. I'll be your uh, color commentary for all of it. That would be the best. I think we should we do, a do a I think we should do a, a dating game, OTA yeah. dating game. Let's do it for uh, for any of our male or female. Yeah, uh, get some potential friends. suitors in here. We'll, we'll we'll interview them all, figure out what they're all about. It'll be it'll be better than Tim. Tommy, records. Tommy will cast this because you know it'll all be hot people or rich people. Yeah, if Tommy, Tommy, Tommy will cast it, one hundred percent. All right, let's so. bring on the other guests. All right, here we go. Let's do it. I'm ready. I miss this girl so much. She's been on maternity leave from KUSI News, ladies and gentlemen. Allie. Mama times two. Hello. You know what the greatest thing is is that we all saw the inception of your family on TV. I know. Isn't think that about fun? That. <laughs> I mean, think about it. The, the, you met, uh, you met um, your man. I know. I know. I know it's, <laughs> we have a bromance. Believe me, I text each other all the time. Um, you met your man on a on an assignment. Yes. Was it Comic Con? Comic Con. So we're coming up on what? Four years? Three years? Six years. Since, since, since that interview happened. Jeez, I know. Yeah, so that uh, we actually have our first meeting on, <laughs> like, I have it recorded. Uh, but you know what's really funny is a lot of times, and Jesse, you know this, when you're not on air, you're chatting with everybody. Right. Yeah. Kinda, I mean, you're kind of filling time, right? right. right. So at Comic-Con, it's really hard to get people to talk to you sure. like you know i i don't i'm not going to be able to go in and interview jason momoa or something right. like that yeah. so we just happen to be waiting outside of south park i think it was their 20th anniversary 25th anniversary they had a whole thing going on outside and he's like do you need help with anything and i go no, but oh, can you oh, can, do can, you can, need yes, that's right? a great line <laughs> a really good line <laughs> hey shelly do you need help with anything? that's right that's the first one in your arsenal i agree that's fantastic yes, and I said, no, but can you do an interview? And he goes, oh, I can, because he has a company where he provides brand ambassadors um, for big events. So basically, when you when you go to Comic-Con, you see like the you know the Disney thing outside, or in this case, the yeah. South Park thing, or, or a TV show. That's what he does. He does it all oh, over the country. Very so he successful. wasn't like dressed as Batman? No, or but you know what? We've thought that maybe we should make that a better backstory. Yeah, Perhaps we were a, or a new tradition. Up. You were at a Rennie fair. We were and, both and, dressed and, up as Klingons. We were all Renaissance know. fair, that's he right. Was, and he was yes. the band. Yes, you know? exactly. And now we have two beautiful kids, and yeah, the rest. Was of that like the interview ended and then your life started, or did it take a second for this? <laughs> like, 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 how long did it take? To, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Were you were you attached to the hip from that day forward? Uh, no, I I think he actually called me right, old fashioned. Uh, called me on the phone, and because uh, we had exchanged info, his brother and I had worked at the same. Albertsons together at one point. Oh, time he dug Lisa. deep to get a hold of oh, Allie. Wow. No, we. Oh, you dropped. Did you no. drop your number that day? <laughs> you. No, email first. Oh, boy, that's Emails. a. Oh, that's a good move. We were very professional. Like 
Here's yeah. my here's my webby. Call hey, call me a KUSI babe. I have heard, and I have no clue because I've been with my wife for almost 15 years, mm -hmm. but I have heard just a follow on Instagram says a million things. So if you would have oh. gone home that day from Comic Con really? and he would have followed your Instagram in 2022, I hear that means like hey, the doors open. You guys well, are seeing each other. This was six years ago, Jesse. There was I mean, still I mean, Instagram, I, I think, six years it wasn't ago. As, it wasn't as uh, wow. you know like it is now. He called her. Yeah. Six years ago, he didn't even have to. Yeah, it was like a Motorola, one of those white brick phones. That's <laughs> how long. <laughs> I don't think Wait so. Wait a minute. Six it, years ago. And it's so cool you brought your older sister and your, <laughs> and your baby. Are we allowed to show? Yes. Are, do you want? I, I, I go, I, yeah, if you can get a so, shot of mom. So the, these guys have created the greatest uh, like, childhood name. Did you names. know you were going to be on TV? One, <laughs> one son's name, Atlas. The other one's name is Crash Davis or something like that. No, this is Archer. Look at Archer. There he is. Hi, yeah. Archer. What's Archer, up, Archer? What's up, dude? I know. Two and a half months now. Wow. He needs a cheetah jacket. He needs you a cheetah jacket. You know what? I didn't know. We could have gone with the cheetah I guarantee we have a viewer that could, that could sew a cheetah jacket. Agreed. For Archer. I know. Look, he's being so good. I'm like... It must be the second one. It must be. Yeah. And, yeah. This is, and, this, and this is your sister, correct? Yeah. Who's a Sullivan? I knew that we were related. I've met you before at the. Listen, I followed the whole thing. I was at the housewarming. I was at the Christmas boozy thing you did. I was at the baby thing. I'm telling you. I mean, I've been following this whole thing all along. Yeah. And, and now, and now we've now is this. Um, is this two of five? No, is this no. two of two? No, I, I'm thinking this is yeah. two of two, Sully. Isn't it interesting, for, for, for those of you that are parents, then you can, you can attest to this, Jesse. Yeah. One's one, two's four. Yeah. And, and for what I understand, after, after two, it's, you know, unless there's a hissing chest wound, you're not even walking in the room. <laughs> yeah, that's right what I hear. I, uh, that's it, what they say. But I it's, don't it, know. Isn't it like triple the work just having two? It's amazing. It, it is. Uh, it, I, I'm definitely a little tired. Let me, <laughs> let me answer that for her. I asked her, hey, are you excited to get back to work? And she said, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And that rarely happens on the first one. So weird. No, the first one definitely doesn't work that way. So weird, Trevor sleeps on his right side and he gets up and there's only one uh, oh. plug in. No, <laughs> let me tell you. Exactly. You don't, let, let's yeah. just say, you don't want to sleep like a baby. You want to sleep, I want to sleep like my husband. He he sleeps through it all. He Because he, 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 he sleeps on his right side, he's got one ear plug in. Yes, so is smart. that what it is? When do you come back to work? Uh, mid or late August. That's like in a blink of an eye. I, you're well, last me. time I checked, you're at work right now. So listen, sister, <laughs> yeah, we start. are on the clock, aren't All we? Right. Here we are. All right. Let's bring out oh. our next guest. Yeah, to see you guys. <laughs> Look this at that. This dude, oh, longtime San Diego radio veteran. I just love this dude. When you think of 91X, you think of this guy, Chris Cantori. Yeah, buddy. Hey, by the way, didn't I see you in a magazine a piece? I, 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 didn't I see you in a magazine piece recently? Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, like, you know, super... Uh, I was very thin in put, the photo. You look good. No, it was the photographer, wide-angle lens. Tremendous up, work up shooting high. from above. You know the deal. You're a chubby dude. Of course, come on. <laughs> so uh, exactly. it's all about the camera I, I, I would take those pictures. All about the camera angles. So, uh, and wearing black, too. It was nice very... work and a black hat. I right. like it. What's the... What, was, it, what mag was that San Diego Magazine? Ranch, San Ranch and Coast Magazine. It's a great article. Oh, thanks, man. I was very stoked. I was uh, Ron, Ron Donahoe. Donahoe. Ron Donahoe. Yeah, he wrote it and did a really fine job. That's good for you. Yeah. Because it went through your career. It did. Starting from the very beginning and then also you know, doing what you're doing now. And they fit it all in one paragraph, which yeah. was amazing. Very short article. <laughs> but it was a color photo. <laughs> and it was, it was all about page the photo. deal. I think you had like a double truck thing going on there. Did I? I, I, I don't know. So. I don't know what that is. I that, stared at it for a long time. And then, you know that terminology. Yeah, I, I know. Right. But it started your career with the green Jeep. And now what? Are you in a minivan? Oh, that's right. You were there when I had I my there. Jeep repoed. Oh, yeah. That's such a trip. <laughs> <laughs> when I first got into radio, there was a time where radio didn't pay a lot. That's a joke. And, <laughs> I was um, say, there was a time. Jesse gets that. And <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I, I was on the air, and my Jeep actually got repossessed while we were on the air. And thankfully, the folks who worked at the tow truck company were Jeff and Jerry listeners, and they didn't take the Jeep. Awesome. Then I went to work at 90 Wood X. Repo people showed up and they took the job. <laughs> well, it was 91X. It was kind of a cutting, it was a, a cutting edge of rock. They're like, we're taking this thing. We know we're not getting the payment. He works here versus <laughs> Jeff and Jer. There's a chance the, the other guys might float his Jeep payment. But I love what you're doing now. You have a lot of projects going on, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, my what wife loves it too. What exactly, <laughs> what exactly so are you doing? Because are you on the radio? No, but no. I haven't of, been but, on the radio. But you have a show, though. But you kind of are. 
you you know the definition of radio I don't has know expanded. what radio is anymore I but agree. you kind of do because what are you doing I do podcasts that's I radio do videos that's radio I do uh, blogging I do everything and anything that has to do with media that's not me talking on a microphone on the radio and you also you also kind of uh, grasped the social media yeah. Very early. I remember, I listen, did. we actually hired you at one point. Yeah, to many, help So many years ago to help, to help with yeah. Big Biz uh, on the national show. Because yeah. we had no idea, what is this interweb thing? And you had a handle on this from the very, very start. Yeah, and, I've always and, been an early adopter type. It's harder now as you get older and have kids, obviously. So yeah. I try to stay ahead and all that. But yeah. at the time, and I still have it. I mean, I definitely have a passion for seeing what's coming up next versus where we are now. And I've been that way since I was a kid and, and just entering... My profession, I was always trying to anticipate a trend, what's coming next, rather than exploiting what's happening now. You nailed that one. I mean, seriously. What That's... do you remember him helping with? Your MySpace? Like, how long ago was <laughs> yeah, this? No, you twitface.com. It was a new thing. No, it was that we... AOL, man. It was AOL. <laughs> I can hear the dialogue. Wasn't connected. Where, no, it was Prodigy, if <laughs> I'm not mistaken. It was, it was Linda Ellerby's <laughs> Prodigy. And prior to no, that, it was it, a coconut thing. Yeah. <laughs> but the th <laughs> <laughs> string. It was Facebook was the place to be at, at that time, I believe. I think, yeah, it was early, man. I, it was when people were building out their I, own WordPress sites. I think it really sites. was the only yeah. place to go. And, and, they, yeah. and, and I don't remember all of the You were building sites. and Yeah. Connecting social media to the sites, exactly. and you're still and, supporting uh, local business, local musicians, musicians, as well. businesses. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, when it comes to the, I'm actually spending more time producing other people's podcasts and even hosting my own at this juncture. Uh, for example, yeah. we just launched one for Bird Surf Shed, which is an iconic surf shop down yeah. off Morena. Mm -hmm. So we've got Bird's Word. I just, and what's crazy is I had no idea Jesse was going to be here today. And like months ago, I said, hey, we're going to start a San Diego history podcast. What do we call it? Yeah. And Jesse, do you remember what oh, you yes. suggested? Uh, I, I the Jesse Lozano show. No, I remember I, put something, <laughs> I remember I put something on there, and I checked back, and many people had liked it. And I thought, dude, Chris may use my comment. I owe Jesse a California burrito. Hey. What's it called? I, I it's forget. called Stay Classic San Diego. Oh, that's classic. And Jesse. I was like, that's well it. Well done. And I, Excellent and I, job. In the back of my head, I'm like, I friggin' owe Jesse a, a California burrito. It's been sitting on me like I've been carrying it <laughs> like dog food on my back. There's actually <laughs> <California> <laughs> have in the car? In there. And he's here. <laughs> I love and this he's so here. much. Chris, so, there's a burrito in the green room. Is it? No, I'll Venmo him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want yeah. a good one. I want, if, I want a burrito from your spot. If anyone in your expert. audience wants to Venmo me, it's at Chris Cantor. <laughs> Roger that. Okay. Why don't we do that? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Are you a 501c3? Because that matters. No, it just goes straight into my kid's mouth. Oh, Roger that. Yeah, that's but so uh, no, yeah, so we've got, that's you know, awesome. I'm committed to anything and everything that is San Diego, and I've been that way since the first time I got here. You know, I came down from L.A., went to San Diego State. I remember sitting at the Murph and seeing the San Diego font above yeah. the scoreboard and saying, this is my town now. I want, not my, I just want to adopt this town. Yeah. Everything from my past no longer exists. This is it. So, I knew, that, oh, I knew that, you were, that you were iconic a long time ago, but then I was sitting in a barber shop in, uh, in uh, Lucadia, uh, it was called uh, Bravehold, and there is an illustration on the wall of all the characters in Lucadia and Encinitas. Uh, Chris Cote yeah. is on there, featured as a cartoon. There's, this, there's these two brothers that always walk down that teach surf lessons. They're walking every day, twin brothers, everybody. All, just the usual suspects you see in a beach town. Right there, on a, holding a skateboard, is Chris Cantori. Have you I seen that, that picture? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, I don't remember the artist, but it's a local artist. It could, yeah, I think I know who it is, but I don't want to say if it's the wrong I'm gonna, person. Next time I'm over there, I'm taking a picture, and, we're, and I'm going to send it over I to will say, some of the best and most amazing lifestyle artists, you know, skate, surf, yeah. all the, all the uh, Southern California lifestyle verticals, reside in North County. Yeah. I'm seeing this sketchy tank. But it was yeah. I, you know, There's Cantori. You know, he, uh, I thought he was an icon before, but now he's on a poster. I see, that's the thing going. about medium fame, is that those things matter to us. They do. I mean, that, and there's I real stuff, fame. Yeah, but yes. <laughs> I, oh, well, I mean, it's I, a long I, climb to the middle, Jesse. I, well, I, I have one little picture up in Escondido on the uh, on one of their flagpoles in downtown, and every time I drive by it, I want to tear up and cry. <laughs> it's my medium fame moment. In fairness, I think it means more to Sully than it means to <laughs> It does. I was like, <laughs> was. Was Roger that. I know okay. that. Roger that. Roger that. that we have another guest to bring up right after the break. You got right it. Right after the break. All right. On the air. On the air. Stand by. Noticed what? that Chris Sprague, who's our fourth horn player, uh, 
of Kenny Loggins' fame is not here today. However, Tomoka Jarvis, just off tour with Andy Grammer, is playing the solo. Can you believe her? Tomoka rocks. Tomoka, welcome home. Tomoka Jarvis, ladies and gentlemen, fantastic. And of course, just off of tour with Andy Grammer, we're happy to have her. Great slash to decide. One more great guest great to bring up. All right, let's do it. All right. He's known as Dr. A, graduate of Helix High School, the mayor of La Mesa, Mark Orapo Stathis. Wow, that was impressive, Tommy. I lived on Mount Helix uh, during my high school career, the second part of my high school career. And the reason I bring that up is because um, my father, my dad, my stepdad, who raised me, moved us there. And Bill turned 94 Whoa. Uh, last Wednesday. So happy birthday, Dad. There's a picture of him blowing his birthday cake right. out there. Hey, hey, He's been in studio with us. Is that a mimosa? What does he have there? What is oh, he drinking? That's, I think, his fourth uh, shard. <laughs> <laughs> can, I tell you, can I tell you during COVID, I, I got a text from my mom during COVID. And you go, you know, Bob, me and your father are doing great. We'd like, can you get us some staples? We need a, we need a couple paper, paper towels and some san, sanitary wipes and three cases of Chuck, uh, two buck chuck. <laughs> yeah. I'm not kidding. I have yeah. the text message. They said, I want toilet paper, paper towels, and three cases of two buck chuck from. Well, I know you know uh, what's going on with um, seltzers right now and how down they are because, I mean, that was uh, the renaissance yes. of, of hard seltzers and stuff during the pandemic. Well, that's but how now, we were coping. That's how we were coping. They said that now that we go to, we'll go back to bars and just have a real drink made for us, no yeah. one wants the seltzers anymore. Right. Because that was our replacement. Well, you don't have to hide it anymore. That's right? right. That's right. That's right. So you that's don't have uh, to have your Starbucks cup full so of something right. during your Zoom video. So that's your dad's birthday today? My dad's birthday is uh, is uh, was last Wednesday, the wow. 13th, 94 years old. So happy Amazing. birthday. Amazing. Happy birthday. And, yeah, no. and happy birthday to you, Sully. Oh, we missed that. We have something for you. Oh, Let's do it. <laughs> oh. oh, I see. Yes. <laughs> what? When you got older, <laughs> losing your hand many oh, years on. ago, <laughs> did you think that you would be really alive? Pushing 75. <laughs> Super spreader right. event. This exactly. just came. Right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, what Omicron? Happy birthday. Yeah. To hey. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To you. From the Sully. Happy birthday. Thank you, boys and girls. Yeah. Thank you, oh, thank you, thank you. to keep that one under. You know, you, start, you hit a certain one, and it's kind of like, no, nah, it's just thing. <laughs> play that. Awesome. That's when you start filling out the stuff. And they say, when you're born, and you said, nah, well, they, they don't even know. I bumped it five years. Who's gonna do that? <laughs> Bunch the numbers. Who's gonna yeah. check anymore? But Dr. A, thank yes, you very sir. much for being here. Hey, it's good to come to North and County from La Mesa. This is like Northern California. You had to gas up, yeah, you had to gas so, up twice, didn't you? Absolutely. And you pack a bag and you <laughs> update your passport. And so anytime you leave La Mesa, and because people in North County think La Mesa borders Arizona. That's <laughs> true. They hear that. Do you remember so. the bumper stickers? No life east of I-5. Of course. <laughs> I think you made <laughs> that course. bumper sticker. <laughs> Now I, I don't live too far from La Mesa, so okay. I feel like I actually did have to fill up my tank on the way up here, <laughs> which is why I was five minutes late. But Dr. A, you're well loved in your community. I appreciate that. And not just because you're a great mayor, because you're a teacher. I There's am so, a full-time so teacher. I, I found out, I did some research that I might be the only one uh, in the nation, but I know I'm in California. I did some research that there are no other mayors in California, 482 cities. None of the other mayors are also teachers. So I'm part-time mayor, full-time teacher, and it actually works out well because I taught 23 years second grade, now I'm fourth through eighth, and that definitely helps when you're working with other people that are in the political world. Mm -hmm. Having the knowledge of a second grade mind exactly. definitely helps you. Wait, 
and emotional uh, capacity. Absolutely. <laughs> and they, people always yeah. say, hey, when's your next town hall meeting? And I said, every time I shop at Vaughn's, you know, yeah. <laughs> they're trying to get my peanut butter Captain Crunch. And, you know, and that's fine. That's exactly what you're supposed to do in public office. You're supposed to be accessible to people. And at school, we have 1,100 students. So I see, you know, the students don't really care about the politics side, but the parents will ask me questions and whatnot. So Where do you teach? I teach at a school that I helped open called La Mesa Arts Academy. It used to be La Mesa Middle School. It's directly across the street from Helix, and it was a middle school, and I, I run two nonprofit theaters. And so I went with uh, the principal and another teacher to the district and said, hey, can we make this a magnet school, which is kind of a 70s thing, but they, they allowed us to do it. So we, we modeled the, the school after my theater, Peter Pan Junior Theater, fourth through eighth. So we have fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth graders there. Wow. And it's a performing arts magnet school, and so kids get, we have 20, 18, 20, 20 electives and it's obviously it's art and it's music and it's theater and it's dance and then we also have a culinary school and we have a broadcasting wow. booth that's why I was taking photos wow. of this because the kids you know we always want to show them what the what, well, what bring the them in are. let them see the place I can always see Allie and uh, and, and Jesse in, in the community theater um, uh, yeah, <laughs> trust me, I played way too much sports that I was terrible at my entire childhood. No, I can see I you guys being the leads in Oklahoma. Every summer. I would do that. Oh, you don't want me to Guys, and, guys and dolls. Oh, you know, I, one of those things? Yeah. I We're working on a musical called KUSI. Are you really? Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. Is it politically I'll based? Yeah. Or? Yeah, who's playing the part of Tommy but Sublon? It, it's, it's, it's a musical comedy, but there is drama involved. Okay. No so it definitely would <laughs> be. So. That would be accurate. I'm consulting with them, absolutely. Yeah. But speaking of sports and speaking of football, you have a great football background, right? Uh, my father uh, coached football. He passed away when I was six, but he was the uh, algebra teacher and football coach and tennis coach at Granite Hills. Mm -hmm. And he started at in the middle school area, and then he went to Sweetwater, and then he was at, at Granite Hills. And then my brother played at Helix, uh, and he broke his back, so he wasn't allowed to play contact sports. So he taught himself how to kick. He went to Grossmont College, and then inevitably played for the Cardinals. Wow! What a he's story. He's 5'10", 160, but wow. he had a good leg. I was 5'10", 160 in third grade. <laughs> <laughs> I played a Those were the that were 160 right. pounds, <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. So, but anyway, so he, so I got to meet a lot of people, and he became best friends with uh, John Carney, and they ran nice. a kicking camp, ABCD kicking camp, okay. and so I got to be a part of that. So, met lots of people that way. It was hey, interesting. Speaking of football. Will you come back and do the pep rally thing again? Is that, is that, or do you, or do you, I mean. Don't come in here. Everyone's watching. Don't fully commit yet, Allie, okay? You remember how early in the morning that is. You know is. what? Uh, we'll see. We'll see if those are making a comeback. What's going on? So. Well, it is coming back. Yeah. And That's so are you. Yeah, and so am I. <laughs> I got a quick question for I want to see it at the big desk. That's students, what I want to see. The students love it, by the Jesse, way. Jesse, it's I, their moment. You know what? It's a shine, it really yeah, is. They, it's, they love getting to school early, and a lot of former students, it's their yeah. thing that they talk about. So. Well, because Allie Wagner's showing uh, yeah, of, of course. Of no, you, it's, it's the moment for them to still be kids. Absolutely. There's so much pressure on kids nowadays. Something Absolutely. that I really love about it is it's a moment for kids to just be kids and enjoy the high school experience. Yeah. Right. And that's absolutely what's a fun thing, and and you know, I think uh, Jesse, myself, you, I mean, a lot of us grew up in San Diego, and Chris, I know that you adopted San Diego, and so I think that it creates that passion for the city that it's you as live. local as it gets. It yeah. feels so local, yeah. you know. It does. Um, you had a question. Quick question, Doctor Ray. You know, you're the mayor and you're a teacher. Can you give yourself a raise? Because that's the brilliance of what you've done here. <laughs> and wait, 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 wait. He'll answer that right after the break. Okay, I like it. <laughs> I like the idea of him giving himself a raise. Why not? <laughs> All right. OTA is on the air. Good to have you along. Of course, Jesse Pisano, our guest host, Ali Wagner, Chris Cantori, and Mark Arapo Stathis. Hey! Dr. Ray. Dr. Ray. Thank you for saving me. See you in a minute. And they tell me all the time. What a great group. Possible. And, of course, in honor of Jesse Lozano being our guest host, the band has... You know, if you want to kick it out a little bit, you want to get up there and dance. I mean, Jesse, at some point today, you're going to have to. Here we okay. go. And Here jump he up. Here he comes. That's, there we go. Jesse Lozano. Can I pick up one of your guitars? <laughs> yeah. Pick up the Rusty Nails R.I.P. guitar. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> He is not afraid of anything. It looks like a Disneyland ride. It is, personally. <laughs> yeah. It's called Jesse Land. The Jungle Cruise. <laughs>
You know he's thinking he's going to get footage out of this, right? He was waiting to do that air guitar. I, and I, thinking about I it. So little, I know so little about a guitar, I literally don't want to touch it because I, I don't want to mess it up. Jesse, you had that you had that look where you, sometimes you do this look where he's like like this. And I'm waiting for forever together. You say, look like Rick Astley. I got a little Rick Astley you look vibes like Rick going Astley. on. I will take that. <laughs> Is there someone more just, famous in music just, right now than I that just guy? Rick rolls you on you looking like Rick Astley. <laughs> Rick Astley. Yeah. We need a side by side on this for the edit. Yeah. Hey, speaking of famous people, yeah. how is Tom Cruise? Oh, wait a minute. Can I bring up a, 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 I bring up a bone I'd like to pick with you? Yes. <laughs> Hey, okay, see the outfits, right? Yep. We said, hey, guys, after he leaves, let's all put the band in outfits next time. Found out he's going to interview Tom Cruise. I said, you know, on this program, we have it on tape. Yep. You know what you should do? You should wear the flight suit. You should show up in the flight suit. Did we hear a shout-out, Tommy? Did, uh, not we only... Actually, not we only paid for the flight suit. They purchased it for me and everything and it sent to my house. Wow! Yeah. Hear that sound? <laughs> I this do apologize. Sound, this is the sound of my name coming out of his mouth. But listen, yeah. listen, it was very clear. Hey, on the red carpet. Silly, no, no, I had mean? all of they said Tom is coming around for one question. Make it your best question, and that is when you forget to shout out everybody. Because yeah, you know, you always really your best question. question. Here, come, here comes the video here. Let's let's uh, let's show. Oh, we got a little uh, Tom. Yeah, and, and the best part is he starts came laughing prepared, at your Tom. He loves I the outfit. Oh, you're, bringing, you're bringing it. I even brought a spare you just in case mat. anyone forgot their Because my friend Sully told me to wear it. Tom, I've talked to all of your cast members right. and they can't believe the time and energy you put into preparing them for this movie but let me tell you what you really left an impression with your coffee cart at the end of every shoot can you explain to me people what's behind coffee. the coffee cart yeah man they people love coffee so my crew everyone they love coffee so i figured it out i'm gonna give them coffee Miles had a theory that that's how you kept them working an extra few hours. Once everyone got tired, you rolled in the coffee cart. Hey, I'm a dummy. I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he say everything like he's a movie star? Just the yeah. way he said, oh, I'm hey, no I, dummy. I have a question. Everything's premeditated. It really it's just, is. Because we've all he's doing lines. We've all interviewed celebrities. Or saying lines. Saying lines. <laughs> Hold on a second. That is the biggest celebrity there is. Yeah, right I mean, I, what, you got Brad Pitt, you got him. I mean, I don't even know. George bit, Clooney. George Chainsaw, Clooney, maybe. Uh, Tom's on top. Tom's on top. <laughs> Did you get jacked up? Because you've been around a lot of celebrities, more than almost any yeah, of them. Yeah, I was. I, I tell you what, when they said that he was he was making his way down the USS Midway, going person after person after person. Did you tinkle a little? Well, I was at the end of the carpet, and I was starting to feel like I may get lucky enough and not have to do this. Like, what? I was almost getting the anxiety of, you know what, maybe I, it's, it'll be fine if I don't get to answer a question. I mean, it's fine. I came. I got the pictures. I'm good. It, I was getting so nervous just for my one question that I was excited that it may not happen. For a moment, though, I'm curious. Did you want to break for a second and say, all right, man, what happened with you and Nicole? <laughs> like, 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 drop the question. Just get like you know what's, how, what's up with you and the kid? I heard you guys aren't talking. Of course, there's so many there's so many questions with that man. Which is absolutely, I, I have such a hard time resisting asking that. No, that yeah. is so out of your playbook, Cantori. Honestly, that's right out of your playbook. I am oh, such you a. Said, what's up hey, with what the kid? What happened with you and Mimi Rogers? Yeah, that what's would've... up with the kid? I hear you're not talking now. What's Do up you with regret that? jumping on the couch? Yeah, that whole Oprah thing. Yeah. You probably I need to handle the truth. No, no, that's why you're still on the radio. Wait and a minute. I'm not. If, if you'd ever heard Chris Cantori <laughs> on here, that is so out of your playbook. Yeah. So, what was it like being next to this icon? Was he a normal dude? Like, normally when you inter interview celebrities, they're just normal people. Yeah. Most, I mean, there's some. He's different. Look, look he's the, another leader. Here's how yeah. he sets up, which, which, which you can't feel normal. He landed the, the helicopter himself on the midway. <laughs> you know, when you have a guy right. that's circling an aircraft carrier yeah. in a helicopter, you lands. You can't one up that dude. It's yeah. tough to yeah. feel like he's normal at all. You know, yeah. I gotta say, he does things that make you realize he's out of this world. And so when he's standing in front of you, it's, it's tough. Tom Cruise, his one visit to San Diego brought thousands of jobs. Yeah, sure. Just that it one really visit did. from caterers to I security. Should, I should look up the economic impact of one day of Tom Cruise in San Diego. Seriously. Right? I agree. My, my wife worked a whole, she was working an event too. I didn't see her the whole day. She was in a whole different side of the gas line. I it's saw her. Special, uh, oh yeah, you guys bumped into each other. Yes. I mean, it was, he, you're right. He took over the whole town. Okay, so yeah. how, 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 <clears throat> how much taller were you? Than Did you see that angle? <laughs> 
Listen, know? Tom is my friend now. I'm not trying to call this guy. <laughs> did, you, did you see the angle of that shot? Those yeah. were cameramen provided by the crew's team, and they were specifically supposed he was to. Because he was the same height as you. I'm 6'3", and he, right. in that video, we're both 6'3". And you don't wow. see his feet where the stilts are. You don't <laughs> see. <laughs> the little extra in the shot. You don't see the lifts, yes. Yeah. Wow. He's a handsome, he's a Forced handsome guy. Perspective. Now, does he look older in person? A little bit, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Said, yeah the fan, said the fanboy who's asking all the questions? Yeah. I, I would okay. say yes, yes. Yes, I would. I would definitely say I felt like Tom Cruise was uh, was not the 20 year old he was in Tom Gun or no. the, the original Top Gun. No. He's got so. great hair though. Come on. You should have asked the questions like this, <laughs> Tom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'd like to hear that, Doctor so Egg. Good do, one. So He's we do that. Oh, the office. only Tom Cruise impersonation. I've well, ever. no, that's that's uh, that's a uh, Val Kilmer impersonation. Oh. But oh, that's yeah, right. but, Sorry. but same movie. We did that when I was in high school. When that came out, we'd come up, you know, you'd come up behind someone in the locker in the locker room, and he looks and he'd say. Mitchell, and That's everyone right. would just start laughing. That's right. So I taught, taught my students that because they That's were going right. to see the new Maverick movie, and so they 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 laugh all the time. I start, you know, there's start doing that. You've, you've all seen the Tom Cruise guy in town, right? The guy who wears the sunglasses. Yeah. Oh yeah, the yeah. fake Tom Cruise. So we, yeah, Looks so we like were we were we played the midway for Fourth of July. Now there's a Val Kilmer guy that goes along with him. Oh no, I, I think we probably have we've you got a couple of pictures of it, but yeah, it, it's they come together now. So nice. get, I, I think, don't want to bum you I think, out. I think Mary, you know, snaggletooth a couple of, you know. Uh -oh. There's a sad yeah, story, guys. Yeah. This poor guy from Coronado, this Tom Cruise lookalike, yeah. was doing so well on his Instagram. Yeah. What do you guys think happened? Got shut, shut it down. Tom Cruise shut him down. I oh, bet it happened. No. I Tom it. Cruise shut And down. I got a hold of him to come and um, surprise our producer, Shelly Brown, for her birthday because she's a huge Top Gun fan. And so he came and was standing at the window of the radio station at Star waving at her like this. And I got him with one email. And I talked to him. I said, you must be so busy. How was I? How are you so easily accessible? Yeah. He goes, I'm off the radar. They don't want me doing this anymore. I look too much like him. They shut down my Instagram. Yeah. Well, when he takes, hey. when he uh, I've never seen him without his glasses. Hey. Does he still look like him without glasses? Exactly. Okay. But he's got all the manners. The last what he sounds he like the him last too. Down. He figured it all out. Yeah. We should have him on the air. Him right. and Val. He'll come on. Trust me. Oh, <laughs> trust me. Poor Let's man. do the interview you would have done that you wanted to do. Can Chris come? Chris, well, I want Chris <laughs> to be there uh, and leading the thing. I'll give him lines in his ear. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I have a little bowling mic. Yes. <laughs> Jesse Lozano, Ali Wagner, Chris Cantori, and Mark Orabostathis. <laughs> Dr. A. 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 Corporate gigs? Do you have to wear stuff like that? <laughs> is that is that the deal? You have to wear. Yeah, that's why we don't play corporate gigs. Hey, the Sully Band is playing somewhere Thursday night. Where? Well, coming up at the Belly Up Tavern uh, on the 21st. So come out and see us. And we, I, we're not doing a charity fundraiser yet, unless we find something. You know, but we could certainly make it a fundraiser if you want. So if you, uh, you have a, if a you good have a idea. suggestion or something, we could make it a fundraiser. I don't even think anybody's opening for us. So. You know, maybe, uh, you know, we got a couple days here. Okay. Maybe, you know, let us know if you've got little Chris of the Nightcrawlers uh, like we have up here. I think, I'm serious, you gotta wear that stuff, right? The, I, the greatest introduction we ever got at the Belly Up was by Chris Cantori. And we still use that in our promo videos. Do you remember Seriously? That? Oh, it was a great, yeah, man. I'm playing along, but I don't remember. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like literally, we use it in marketing all the time. I so, love it. No, it's, love it was it. fantastic. No, and I did want to say too. You know, I came in here and I was, you know, just I, I've known you for so long. I love Boston cojones. I know. And uh, I do want to commend you on what you do here, you Tommy and Thank everybody. You. you guys have a great thing, very community involved, and I know how hard you all work. And just wanted to say you do a great job. Well, I do, but thank you, Chris. I'm not sure about that. I've introduced you twice on stage, but it's all right. <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> I love Chris. Chris, you know I love you. No, we have a long history, all of us, and I just want to say you guys are doing great stuff. Well, what's interesting here is that when we all got into radio, whoever thought we'd still be in radio or in media, right, at this yeah. point? I, I 
I never thought. I, you know, I was running an investment bank here in San Diego. No, my wife still asks me. Yeah, like what's your? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, we hijacked. We hijacked your question. Yes. Yeah, Doctor Ray. Doctor Ray, you yes, got to tell us, Mayor of La Mesa. You're also a teacher. Can you give yourself a raise? Not in the school district, but actually, you can. You can vote a raise in, but it has to be prior to the next election. So you can't do it after you've been voted in. But uh, currently I make minimum wage for the city of La Mesa. And most all of the 18 cities, except for San Diego and Chula Vista, they're all part-time uh, people that have served she on work the city council. Man. Yeah. I, wow. Do you make minimum wage in radio? No. <laughs> Almost? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. yeah, exactly. I always think of, of, of you know different jobs, and I was thinking of Mr. Sullivan here. must be wonderful during the holidays because you get people, relatives, sidling up to you for financial advice, oh, probably. Uncle Bill comes up and says, yeah. hey, how you, you doing? Know. And then they start hitting you for that kind of stuff. Well, it's not as bad as being a, a working at the Genius Bar at Apple. Could you imagine being <laughs> a guy who works at the Genius Bar at Apple going home for the holidays? And, you ha and they all... Oh. Uh, you're debugging or, or, everything. Or you're yes. wearing your navy blue uh, T-shirt with the white apple on it, right, right? In, a, in an airplane. Could you imagine Everyone not ever getting phone. sleep again? Wow. <laughs> See, I get the opposite. I go home, I help my parents with their devices, and they say, you know what you should do? <laughs> you should get a job at the Genius Bar at Apple. What's with all the podcasts and stuff? Yeah. You clearly this know this is, much better. This media stuff, <laughs> the Genius Bar. Oh, hey, Chris. They've got great benefits. Speaking of Tom Cruise, who is your biggest celebrity you've ever interviewed? You too. Really? Yeah. You, really? Oh, my wow. But it, I didn't get name. Bono, I got... Adam Clayton and the Edge, which to me equal yeah. a Bono. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> um, and that was definitely equal. A Bono. That was one of those surreal outer, you know, probably kind of how you felt, Jesse. Yeah. With time. You just kind of go out of your body for a minute. Where and was you it? You could be as prepared as doesn't possible, the, as big yeah. of a fan. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It was backstage at the Forum up in L.A. Whoa! And I got brought down to this room. And what was so genius about them is they interview you before you interview them. Oh, they do. So they ask you questions, not them in particular, right, they're but people. they're people. So then I get down there like, hey, how's the surf in San Diego? And you're like, what? what? Wow. And you're like, you hey, you went to San Diego State, you know? That's was, smart, though. Yeah. So smart. Because That's a great PR move for people getting interviewed, because I always tell people you know, that want to get in the media, if you're going to start interviewing, and I think, I think many people do this, I said, write down three questions and hope you don't get to the next two. Because right. if you're listening, you'll never get to the next two. Truth. And, and it could imagine being a great guest, because some... And the only reason you have those other two questions, when, when you ask a, a, a person, so how, how, was, uh, how was it like shooting Top Gun 2? Great. Yeah. I better okay. have another, I better have another <laughs> Oh, that sounds like my Chris Brown interview right there. You know, that's exactly how how's, it was. How's the him. tour going? That's fantastic, though. I love that idea. What Great. about you, Allie? Um, well, I have some good ones, but some that really meant a lot to me is I got the opportunity to interview Tony Gwynn and Junior Seau both wow. before they passed. And yeah. I think that that was really cool. Yeah. It was really early on in my career, and as but Junior Andy loved you. Did, Junior yeah, they, they, loved you. N uh, Tony and I, and I still keep in touch with obviously his son. You know, Poway Ramona, right? right. But um, I, I that was really cool to me, sitting in the dugout talking with Tony about, yeah. you know, just hanging out with him was really meant a lot to me as a San Diego kid. That's awesome. And, awesome. Yeah. Sitting in the dugout with Tony Gwynn, that would be a top three for me. Think about that. Right. When I mean, he that's, was that's part of it. Coach right? in San Diego State. Yeah. And that was actually one of the best. San Diego State had made it. Uh, Aztecs for life, right? They had made 100%. it. And, and they were uh, playing in the baseball, you know, the next level or what have you. And, and uh, he said, just remember who's been following you the whole time. But before he said that, he goes, Allie, this doesn't pertain to you. Okay, just remember who has been here the whole time. I go, thank you very much. Yeah, what, so. what about you, Dr. A? Have you I, met? I have an interesting story. When I was 13, out playing wiffle ball in my front yard, and our neighbor, nice man, he was a World War II Pearl Harbor survivor, told my mom, that kid needs a job, and I thought I was in a Dickens novel, so get a work permit, and I, he takes me to work with him, and he's the head custodian at the Salk Institute, which I thought was called the Salt Institute. Of course, we all salt. did, we all did. So one day I'm vac I viewed vacuum rugs, and they would shampoo them, it was like painting the Golden Gate Bridge, and so this, this group comes by in lab coats, this man comes up, and he says, hey, who are you, are you here with Bill? And I said, I, I didn't know Mr. Denning's first name, I was a kid. I said, uh, and so, buys me an orange crush and it was Dr. Jonas Salt. Wow. So I, go, I go home and I tell my mom she said how to go and I said I met the owner. <laughs> and she just best story yeah. ever. Best story ever. I want to hear yours. I want to hear yours when yeah. you come back. Yeah. yeah. All right. Because there's been a few. All right. Could it be the time he paraded Russell Crowe past all the other radio studios? Oh, yeah. Sounds so laughing, doesn't it? Oh.
when you're laughing, yeah. and you mark playing the Hammond B3. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Welcome to On the Air. We have a huge cast today. What is going on here? Look at all these people, dude. <laughs> we have, we have nine fun. people on the set. Yeah, it's like the end. Thank you guys for allowing my wife and my child to come up. <laughs> Congratulations. You just make a great couple. Thank you. We're pretty It's popular. like the end of SNL when everyone's on stage. Oh, all families right. get together. And exactly. You see who likes each other. Is Jesse well, going on your shoulders? Yeah. <laughs> That will, Jesse, uh, you'd like to make an introduction here? Uh, yes, I would like to bring on for the very first time on television here in San Diego, my amazing wife, Natalie. 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 Hello, Natalie. Come on, she give is... me a plan for Natalie. Yes. Come on, give me something. She's very nervous. We have to make her feel comfortable. She doesn't <laughs> do this. You're Say great. hi, Natalie. Hi. This yeah. is not my thing, but hello. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Natalie, <laughs> Natalie is uh, my little niece, so Jesse should what? be calling me Uncle Little Tommy. <laughs> He really wants me. Versus the Uncle Daddy he's normally referred That's to. That's right. I thought it was Daddy. Creepy. Is I that guess true or you just made that up? No, it's true. She really is your niece. Yes. You're well, related to everybody. Yes, I Chris, am. Chris, here's the assumption. 14 people live on the island of Guam, so he thinks he for sure must be related to <laughs> That's what I think. They're both tomorrow. That's what I'm yes. wondering. Okay. Somewhere down the line. Because I've got a lot of Chaldean friends, and they're all related. <laughs> yes, so. that's kind okay. of probably how it works. We have uh, one of our best employees, uh, longest employees is Chaldean, and he has a thousand relatives. Oh, that's cousins. Like Tommy does. Oh, yeah, I've yeah, got thing. a cousin who's Chaldean. What's up, Sully? <laughs> hey, you know what? Yeah, brought my mom to come and, and help uh, with baby Archer today, who apparently, big fan of the band. Yeah, he's out. He, he's had a really good time. <laughs> he's had the horns knocked him out. Yeah. So your maiden name was Sullivan? Yes. Uh -huh. No kidding. Yeah. I'm Irish Catholic. No kidding. Yeah, that's I did why that, I became I did a winemaker. <laughs> that's not why. <laughs> I did that 23 and Me thing. Do you know how much Irish I have in me? Oh, no. A quarter. Oh, <laughs> <No>. donuts! <laughs> oh, really? wow! Some some dude named Sully rolled in there at some point and got the name. But, but I am zero. These I, DNA and I results ruin lives. I did I'm it officially twice. saying. That. I did it twice. Really? I'm wow. yeah. I'm Sicilian, Swedish, and a little Jewish. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. Like crazy. And, and of course, my daughter's McKenna Delaney. You know, the <laughs> entire world. Dog's name was Riley Seamus. <laughs> <laughs> My you entire the, world, like you said, built yeah. an entire life around this lie. Oh my goodness! Not so much. Yeah. So, uh, so, what, so, do you, how great is it to be a grandma? Oh, it's amazing. Because you the get best. to hand, because you get to hand them back. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they are just, you know, blossoming. So it's just a joy to see that. Yeah. But isn't it true you do love your grandparents? You do love your grandkids more than your own kids. <laughs> I do. It was easier. <laughs> it's <was> definitely easier. <laughs> You know why? Oh, though? I, see, I see the videos he posts on his Instagram, and uh -huh. everyone is a granddaughter or a grandson or something going, Grandpa Tommy, I love you so much. You're amazing. It's just like, you know, I think that's what it is. Uh -huh. No, if, if, there's, if there's a food scale, um, he's bacon, you're apple. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh. Well, I mean, you are hearts and flowers. You are sort of, yes. you know, happy. always will be. And that's good. That's fantastic. Always will be. Not me and Chris. So there you go. Um, uh, so it's great to have you guys here. Before we start, I, I want to ask, I didn't ask you, what, who is your biggest celebrity ever? I think we met them all through the years. We all have. But my favorite uh, celebrity that I ever uh, got to know is Luther Vandross. Because we, really? became, we became friends. Fat Luther, skinny Luther? Both. Great like, question. Because <laughs> fat Luther, bad? Fat Luther better than skinny Luther, don't you think? Turn out the light, but, light a candle. But we became Turn friends, and I would always call him, and I can give out his number now because it doesn't work, 310-274-7110. That was Luther's number. Do you know whose number that is now? Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, he was so cool. We became friends in the 90s, and I would just say, hey, Luther, will you go on? And he goes, sure. And no matter where he was in the world, he yeah. would always go on. He was big in the 90s. Wow. Yeah, I love so Jason he would have been bigger in 90 right now, but he was big in the 90s. So <laughs> No, I love Luther Vandross, and uh, I do. I, I, I say this in jest, but fat, fat Luther was better than skinny Luther. I'm sorry. <laughs> I listen that kind of works. It's, it sort of does. You're happier. Why, yeah. why would we ever be happy if we're dieting and looking all exactly. up? Hey, amen. Right, baby? <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> love is a full-time job with benefits. Hey, let's go on down the line. Yeah. What do you guys got going on over at Star 94.1? Um, let's see. Right now, we are gearing up for our pick-a-purse party. I don't know if you 
guys know with this event yeah. that we throw where we invite a bunch of our listeners to a ballroom, we throw a party, and in the middle of that room is a table filled with designer purses, Louis Vuitton, Coach. If you really? get an invite to this thing, you get to go up on stage, pick a purse, wow. and then uh, keep the party rolling. Wow. So if you want to sign that up idea. for that, yeah, anyone can sign up right now. Whoever thought that idea FM. Was, was that your idea? Was that yours? I, I think it was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. What is the name? What's the name of the new network? The uh, new it's new Olas new? for Waves, Sound yeah. Waves, OlasMedia.com. Okay. And uh, if you want to host a show, join our network. If you need podcast services, hit us up. There you OlasMedia.com. Go. OlasMedia.com. Chris Cantori. Yeah. He's Still always around. there. Always there. I caught there. it. Chris Cantori. Yeah. Allie, what's up? Yeah. You, you, when's nap time? You sleeping? The baby sleeps? <laughs> You sleeping know, right now? I should be sleeping right now. Yeah, I know, right? Sally. Um, uh, yeah, we're getting gearing up, getting ready to come back to work in August. Wow. We, we sure I, miss you. <laughs> we, we do. do. Oh, no, we do. Are you looking forward to it this time? Because um, because you know, there's always, I mean, I hear it from, from uh, even Lauren Finney. Yeah. I'm ready to get back to work. That's what Lauren tells me, and I told Jesse, yeah, we're, we're, we're ready. We're ready. <laughs> we're ready. But, uh, yeah, it's been, right. it's been good, and hopefully, hopefully sleep comes soon. There's actually two. Andrea Tobias as well. Uh -huh. yeah. So hopefully she comes back soon. Dr. Yeah. A, is there a, L a La Mesa summer concert series? There is. Why have we never been invited to play? Because uh, I, well, I, you know what? Look at these guys. I don't want to see you again, ever. And if you don't do it, you're fired. I, we called, but your people kept hanging up on us. Oh, so that was they said, <laughs> they said we were way, way too big. But Sundays at 6 is something I started back in 02. Called it Sundays at 6. Well, let us play six. there at some point. Absolutely. We'll donate the band for We'll, we'll have that? you on. Oh, Absolutely. Right. We'll have you next year. But we have the summer uh, concert series. Our La Mesa Village Association is doing the uh, Farmer's Market, the car show, and a personal plug. My uh, junior theater program is having its 50th anniversary, the 29th Peter Pan Junior wow. Theater. You're only 35. Yeah. <laughs> Times two. All right, exactly. kids. Thank you guys so much. Belly up Thursday. Thursday night. Belly up, play us out, kids. <laughs>